Last time, Gordon Ramsay make egg fried rice so good, Uncle Roger called him Uncle Gordon. This time he back making ramen. Can he keep his uncle title? Or is he gonna lose it? Let's see. Let's see. Hello, niece and nephew. New neon sign, it Uncle Roger rice cooker. What you think? What you think? Leave comment. Let Uncle Roger know what you think of my neon light. Underneath the neon light. Wait, before we even start, why Gordon looks so shiny? What is this Madam Tussaud bullshit? Right, come on, let's be honest. Ramen is that comfort food that we all love, especially on a cold day. But today, trust me, I'm gonna show you how to elevate that notoriously cheap dish into something delicious. And guess what? Give me a V. That's right, vegetarian. Right, what? what? come in. Gordon, making vegetarian food? Gordon, I thought you hate vegetarian. I'm allergic to vegetarians. Oh, I, I come out in a rash. <laughs> Why you make vegetarian food now, Gordon? Why you bow down to those people? What the point of having all those knives back there if you're vegetarian? What you gonna use that cleaver for? Bok choy? And guess what? Give me a V. But give me a V is actually good pickup line. Niece and nephew, go to bar, find woman you like, and tell her to give you a V. Sorry, children. Right, come in, Oscar. Let me show you the ingredients. Uh, egg noodles, uh, delicious. Egg, uh, egg noodle. Egg. Uh oh, Uncle Gordon already make mistake. Egg noodle, wrong noodle. Ramen should use wheat alkaline noodle. This not starting well. Three, three and a half minutes. Uh, beautiful seaweed, scallion. Seaweed, good. Tofu. Scallion, tofu, Ginger. correct. Ginger, uh, good. Cauliflower. And these, Col these are the secret ingredient. These are cauliflower. The dried shiitake mushrooms. They're gonna go into shiitake, the water, good. And they're gonna rehydrate. Right, let's have 10 minutes on the clock. So, wait, ramen take at least 10 hours. He making in 10 minutes. I don't think this is gonna go well. Keep watching, see if Uncle Roger correct. Get them on a spoon and drop them into that water, okay? Please, time me six minutes. Six minutes, correct. Bring it out to the boil. Boil them gently, and I wanna boil that. But a little bit of sort of a yolky bit in the middle. Mushroom Good, soft boil. Into the water immediately, okay? In. Mushroom in water. Sort of go up a level. Okay, I hope he making tare and not just whacking everything in pan. Turn the gas up. Okay, and now we're gonna start creating that base. First off, a tablespoon of miso paste. No, no, you okay. don't, don't put miso paste in your boiling water. It gonna kill the miso. You want to make miso, make miso tare separately. Hiya, this is the same mistake Nigella Lawson make in her ramen. Gordon, you make me so sad. Okay, and give that a really good mix. Now those mushrooms are doubling in size. Okay. Ah, doubling in size, just like Auntie Helen after our marriage. And the exciting thing now is that they're starting to give flavor to that water. Wait, just one tablespoon miso in that big pot water? What, yeah, what the point? Not gonna taste like anything. This just husky hit of miso, that not enough? A husky hit of miso. From there. Oh, you don't. Nice tablespoon of soy. Oh, yeah, now you're just soy. whacking random shit in okay. boiling water. Touch a mirror. Okay, that gives it a little bit of lift and a bit of a bite. One of my favorites, Togarashi spice, a beautiful Japanese pepper in. Lightly season it with the chili flakes. Why chili flake and Togarashi pepper, same thing? You're wasting money and wasting time. Get your egg noodles in. Okay. Uh-oh. And then from No, the no, don't put your egg Ugh. Wrong noodle, first of all. And don't put your noodle in the broth. You should cook separately. The broth need time to extract flavor out of ingredient. You put noodle in broth for that long, it gonna be soggy and dead in the end. Hiya. Gordon, every step wrong so far. What happening? What happening? The gas, okay? That's right, turn off the gas. Now, give that a good mix. Taste that broth. Why taste for what? Shit in water for two minutes. Where got taste? You're just tasting soy sauce in water. Two minutes, not long enough for anything. Trust me, Uncle Roger, no? Mm, that's delicious, touch more salt. Okay, for me. And then a little bit of salt and look. The seaweed. Seaweed now? I just cut up. No, no, no. What he doing? What he doing? Oh my god. Seaweed into boiling water. What you 
too important. Seaweed in broth? I'm just gonna disintegrate into the water. Hiya, you killing me, Gordon. And you're killing the seaweed. Uncle Roger have to put my leg down from chair already. Gordon, you fucked up. Seaweed supposed to go in ramen last thing right before you eat. Like go watch Uncle Roger make ramen video. See how it done. Nice long sort of almost strips like julienne. No. Every minute this broth is getting better, tastier and deeper. It's it getting stronger. That what it's getting. Vegetables. And then just taste again. Good. Now it's nearly there. Nearly where? Hell, that where? Tofu. Just literally... Tofu, okay, because vegetarian. Beautiful strands. Not my first choice, but okay. And just place that on top. Wait, tofu straight into... Bro what? what? In vegetarian ramen, tofu replaced the pork belly. So you need to marinate the tofu first. Don't just serve raw tofu. It just tastes like bean. <laughs> Marinade. Oscar, please, pan down. Have a quick look. No, Aiyah. Like this smorgasbord of delicious ingredients. That look just like miso soup. Where got ramen? Don't look like ramen at all. If your ramen look like miso soup, you fucked up. Delicious ingredients. And... Man, that's good. That's so good. Man, that's good. He keep tasting and he keep lying. Take your sesame oil and just... Sesame oil, hiya. I think that's gonna be the only aroma oil he used. Sure, the gas is off. I want a touch more spice in there for me. Just a touch. Let it simmer. The gas... This just... He just... This ramen. This not jazz. You don't just improvise. Ugh. Gas is off, okay. Eggs are boiling. Time, please. Right, three minutes okay. down. Cauliflower. Cauliflower. Now... This gives it a bit of texture to the ramen. It's a great way. I guess for vegetarian ramen, cauliflower, okay. These bits here, just cut round there, slice those bits nice and thin. And these stalks are so delicious. Stock, stock delicious. Stock is worst part of vegetable. Uncle Roger don't like vegetable. Vegetable tastes like sad. But if Uncle Roger have to eat vegetable, I eat the leaf. Because stock tastes as shit as leaf, but harder to chew. Stock is the same shit food, but more effort. Who want that? Okay, like the stalks on a broccoli. Beautiful ramen. And put those stalks in there. Take your cauliflower. He's well, still going on about cauliflower. Lightly season it. Dust that with some rice flour. Crunch. Cauliflower. So when we fry, I want some chili in there, so I've got some heat, okay? And then look, a nice little shallow fly. Hot pan, get the oil in. Nice crispy texture that sits on top of those noodles. Five minutes down. Is, is this ramen weijo? Or is this cauliflower with side of shit noodle weijo? He spent 30 seconds making ramen broth and three hours making cauliflower. Hiya. All this time, meanwhile, the noodle in that pot just drowning. Again. I love frying in a non-stick pan because I get that texture. I really get it nice and... Non-stick? You just say non-stick and then you use metal spoon. <laughs> Cannot use metal spoon in non-stick, Gordon. Hiya. Why like this today? What wrong with you? It looked like you care more about getting your shirt to match the cabinet than making good food. <sighs> but look, look at the colour of that cauliflower. Beautiful. Now it's going golden brown. Can we go back to ramen now, That's please? That I want. Get a little slice of kitchen towel. Get that ready. I uh, colander and cauliflower together. This video have all of Uncle Roger nightmare. As that gets really nice and crispy. I put a bit of chili in there as well. My mom gonna go beat you up, Gordon. Scrape, scrape, scrape with metal spoon. Got some wonderful. Spring onions. Okay, spring onion, good, no, finally. Nice. We're done with cauliflower. Longer on the bias, so I go sideways this time. Mmm, sideways. Okay, Uncle Roger likes sideways also. And the sort of white parts, again, I'm just gonna sprinkle in. Oh, you sprinkle oh, into oh. broth. Spring onion in ramen broth, okay. But you're not gonna have enough time to get the flavor out. 10 minutes. One more final taste. And look at it in there. 
Oscar, come in, come in, pan down, pan down, pan down. No, please. don't tell Oscar to pan down. Uncle Roger want you to put your pan down. Stop cooking. Mm. That is so delicious. Oh man. Now eggs. Take them out. Always like to sort of put them into cold water first. Okay, correct. Egg in ice bath, correct. Right, time to serve. Get your bowl. This is a very generous sort of family style dish. Family style? Hiya, nobody eat ramen. Family style, wrong bowl. Okay, big, deep, beautiful dish. Now. Oh, look at, oh my God. First, the flavor. That, from that style don't look short good. Of time. Is oh, that ramen looks so dead and lifeless. 90 seconds. Man, we're up against it. Look. It's so weird serving in this Le Creuset saucepan. Hiya, Gordon. Just buy ramen bowl. You cannot afford ramen bowl, is it? Your daughter on Strictly Come Dancing. Ask her to lend you some money. Buy some ramen bowl. Tilly, help your old guy out. Go. Pickled ginger, my scallions, spring onions, and then look. This beautiful, nice, crispy cauliflower on top. I think this video, Gordon, sponsored by Cauliflower Company. He spent so much time talking about it. Flour. Now with the eggs, tap, tap, tap. Pull, 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 and then just put it in your top of your hand. <laughs> Don't blow, you're giving everybody your COVID. Don't blow egg. And that from there, literally, should come off super quick and it is. Okay, the egg peeling quite prompt. I give you that. Runny, yolky, and then look. Yolk, correct. It look good, but you need to marinate your egg, Gordon. Look at this egg. It's whiter than Jamie Oliver. Who want to eat? Oh, just from there. Just literally. Snip, snip, snip. What is it? That is not... Fresh cilantro, coriander. No, no. <laughs> Coriander on rum. You don't just... Ooh. Just because a dish Asian doesn't mean you can just put coriander on it. Some ramen chef put coriander or cilantro in ramen, but not like that. Doesn't matter what country you're in, it's all delicious. And there we are. What the f... Uncle Roger can't watch anymore. The broth all wrong. No tare. Barely any aroma oil. Wrong type of noodle. Ugh. I know this is supposed to be quick 10 minute ramen, but if you want ramen in 10 minutes, just make instant ramen. Even that better than this? Or go to ramen restaurant. Get ramen in 10 minutes. Easy. God, then your egg fried rice so good. Why your ramen so bad? Uncle Roger cannot call you Uncle Gordon anymore. I need to take back that title. Gordon, you're supposed to be one of the good one. Why you join Dark Side? <sighs> To all of you, thank you for watching Ramsey in 10. If I went too quick, like oh, he changed shirt. Like, slow it down. Now, don't forget to pick up Ramsey in 10 cookbook inspired by this. He series. got a cookbook. And, trust me, you're gonna come out a much better chef. You're gonna teach all wrong recipe, is it? What are you gonna use that cleaver for? Bok choy. It's <laughs> funny. It's funny. Uncle Roger had to change color. I too upset. Good. Now it's nearly there. Nearly where? Tough. Hell. That where? By the way, Uncle Roger noticed. What is white people obsession with making food fast? Like this one, ramen in 10 minutes. Or Jamie Oliver cookbook like five ingredients. Hiya. Just make it properly. Teaching cooking in Asia, Uncle Roger never see anyone go, Oh, I teach you how to make laksa in nine minutes. No, it's not gonna be good. 